Hello there everyone and welcome back to a brand new video in which myself and Charlie went to London for a few days for a staycation. There's so many exciting things coming up in this video as we explored loads of the major tourist attractions, went to the Ivy, the Shard and explored a little bit of Camden so I hope you all enjoy. Three, two, one. <laughs> everyone we have just got to London well not just but we've just got to the hotel and actually managed to check in early I think it's about it's just gone half 11 we weren't meant to check in until three o'clock however our room was ready so we've checked in I'm so so excited we've had a 38 minute walk from the train station to here and the weather it's gorgeous and I'm absolutely sweating so I've just stripped down to my bra hence why you're only getting a little headshot of me right now but I thought I would film a quick cheeky room tour we're staying in the Thistle Hotel in Piccadilly Circus and it's so so central and I will say we've just walked in through Chinatown London is dead it is so quiet out there I don't know if it's just the day of the week or what but I'm so excited to get out there once I've had a bit of a change and a freshen up so let me just turn you guys around and show you the room because it's not that amazing. I thought I'd do a quick tour, but it's just nice and basic. But let me show you guys anyway. So as you come in through the door here, you first come to the bathroom. You've got a big, nice shower. Love that shower head. Can't wait to use that. And then obviously toilet, free toiletries. We'd love to see that. You then come round. We've got a big full length mirror here, which I'm obviously not going to get in right now. And then as you come into the room, You've just got a desk, TV, which I'm really, really happy about. Chair, window, bed, bedside tables, and that's just a big wardrobe. And it's also got a fridge inside, like a full fridge. So I'm quite happy about that because we can get some snacks and put them in there. And yeah, that's about it. As I said, very simple, very basic, but it was cheaper than the Premier Inn. It looks kind of the same as the Premier Inn and it is so central. It's just perfect for us. Today, our plan is just to have a bit of a wander around really, take some cute pics, explore Chinatown because Charlie's never been, get some lunch because I'm absolutely starving. So first things first, I'm going to freshen up quickly and then we're going to head out. So I'll bring you guys along with me and I hope you enjoy the video. at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Run. Ooh. Wow, hello again everybody from a very, very tired Tanya. It is now almost half past six and we've been back in the hotel since about four o'clock I think and we are absolutely exhausted. I haven't really filmed too much or spoken to you guys too much, it's just been little clips because in all honesty it's been so long since we've been away and we've just been enjoying ourselves and I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself to film but as you can see we've done quite the journey, we've walked 
40 minutes from the train station to the hotel. We've walked around Chinatown. We've been around Piccadilly. We've been all the way down to Buckingham Palace, St. James's Gardens. Uh, we did try to go to Downing Street. I didn't realise that Downing Street wasn't open to the public. I thought that maybe we'd just be allowed to walk past Boris's house and wave hello, but that's not obviously the case. And 16,000 steps later and we are absolutely shattered. I haven't done a long walk like that in a long time. However, since we've got back to the hotel room, we've just been chilling, playing Ludo, and I've read another chapter of my book, which I started on the train this morning, which is by Chanel Miller, and it's called Know My Name. She's a Stanford sexual assault survivor, and so far, it is such a good book. Like, really, really good book. It's, it's going into everything in, like, I don't know, like, a good amount of detail um, in terms of, like, the court case and things. Um... Yeah, really enjoying it. I'm about halfway through chapter two. No, chapter three at the minute, I think. Well, I'm 65 pages in, put it that way. So I've read a fair bit and I'm really, really enjoying it. And we are now about to get ourselves changed and head out for dinner. We made a cheeky reservation at TGI Fridays earlier, which I'm really, really excited about because it's been so long since I've had sesame chicken strips and I can't wait to have them again. So I'm really excited for that. I do need to get changed now quickly and head out, but I just thought I'd pop on, maybe apologise a little bit for not filming too much today. But as you can understand, I'm just trying to enjoy our little trip. So hopefully I'll pick the camera up a little bit more tomorrow, give you all a bit more of an insight to the day. And yeah, I think that's about it. I'll film a few clips this evening of what we get up to, but I really just think it's gonna be dinner and back here to go to bed, to be honest. Um, it doesn't get much more exciting than that, does it? But yeah, I will catch up with you guys when I catch up with you. And other than that, I hope you carry on enjoying a little insight into our trip. And I really don't know what this little piece of hair is doing here. Like we are honestly bedraggled after such a long day. But anyway, let's get head into TGI's. Good morning everyone, apologies if it's a little bit dark and gloomy, as you can see it is a very dark and gloomy day, however today we are actually booked in to go to the Shard, well we're not booked but we've got tickets to and that's what we plan to do today which is a bit disappointing because we were so lucky with the weather yesterday but as long as it's dry that's all we can ask for. We've got the underground down here this morning, it was all a bit of a rush, I think it's about what time is it, one o'clock, yeah. one o'clock, so we've got a booking at the Ivy at two which is really exciting because I've never been and I've always wanted to go and then after we've been to the Ivy that's when we'll go to the Shard so for now because we've got an hour to kill I've never been here before so I thought I'd give us a bit of extra time to find our way we're just having a little walk along the front having a little browse here's a tower bridge behind us I've never seen it from this angle before because I've never walked along this side of the river so really really exciting exciting day I know I'm still not filming too much for this video I'm just filming clips here and there but to be honest I think that's what it's going to be mostly but I will try and check in with you guys a little bit later let you know how dinner goes show you dinner for a start because I'm so excited about that and yeah I think that's all of my updates I love my outfit today I'm wearing a blazer top and then the same jeans and trousers as yesterday and I think that's all of my updates really so I'll catch up with you all a little bit later so we've just finished our meal in the ivy I'm back filming on my phone because I can't be bothered to take my camera out so I do forgive that but we are now on our way to the Shard. It's really, really windy and not the best of days, to be honest. However, we still want to go up because our tickets run out in November as I bought them on the gift voucher. So we're gonna head up there now. It is just behind us. So we're slowly making our way there. And yeah, very exciting. All of my plates have been very short and snappy on this video so far. I think I need to remember that when I'm filming a weekly vlog so they're not as chatty but yeah very excited to go up the shard we both enjoyed our meal really really lovely great quality food massive massive portions and 
not as expensive as I thought it was, so really, <laughs> really happy with that. And a very good morning everyone, happy Friday. Excuse the tired voice and the tired face if it appears that way, it's because I've literally woke up about 10 minutes ago, realized I was running, not super late, but late, and have got ready literally at the speed of light. I am very, very tired. It's currently 8.42. Today is the day that we check out and actually go home, which I'm so, so sad about. I feel like I've barely vlogged this trip, but the main thing is that we were having fun. We've had such a good time and I've just shown you like little snippets of what we've been doing, but we've had an amazing time. Yesterday after the shard, we came back and we got back to the hotel at about six o'clock. Literally stayed here all night because we were shattered and then went out at about 10 o'clock and just saw Chinatown all lit up at night. That's something Charlie wanted to do. So that was really nice. And sometimes we like have an evening strolls. And then we just came back and went to bed so there was really nothing interesting happening last night and this morning as i said it's 8 42 we're checking out at 11 o'clock but before we do we're gonna go for breakfast at elan cafe i'm sure you've heard of it it's all over instagram it's all over youtube everyone's been there it looks really really good i'm quite excited about that very instagrammable and i'm just not looking too hard to try this morning i was gonna wear a nice cute tennis skirt that I've got but the weather just really isn't cutting it it's quite cloudy outside it's quite windy and I didn't bring anything to wear underneath in case it blows up so I've just got on another pair of jeans all I've worn this holiday is jeans for now um and then, anyways after breakfast I'm literally dragging this out like I'm so tired I don't think I can function properly yet but after breakfast we're going to come back here quickly come back up to the room get our cases get changed quickly um and then we're going to camden today uh, i think we're going to go regardless of the weather to be honest i've never been there before quite excited to go don't really know what there is there apart from the market um but it would just be nice to have a browse because we haven't done any shopping since we've been here and then depending on what time we get back from there i don't know if we'll go shopping on oxford street or not because we haven't done that yet either and then we'll come back to the hotel pick up our bags and go to euston station and head back home which i think we'll do at around seven o'clock because we've got off peak tickets and that's about it really again i'll bring you along with me i just thought i'd give you a bit more of a lowdown this morning because i haven't really been doing that and i feel like i've been jumping from activity to activity with not much explanation so that's what we're doing today that's the kind of plan that we're following we don't really have any time in set apart from like we'd like to get the train at seven ish um so yeah i just thought i'd let you know in case i'm just showing you clips again today because that's most likely what's going to happen and I think that's about it really. Let's just go to breakfast. I can't wait to see what my breakfast looks like. And I know I'm going to be choosing my drink for absolutely ages. So let's go because I am actually quite hungry.
just stopped for a bite to eat in Camden. It's almost 12 o'clock, but we're quite hungry as so we've been up early. We've tasted so many tastes going round and we've decided on Chinese. We're gonna share this. We've got chow mein noodles underneath and this is chicken and it's the crispiest but most softest chicken I've ever had inside. It's absolutely gorgeous. This was a small, which I actually think is a massive portion and it was six pounds. So really not too bad. I'm really, really happy with that. Oh, it's got competition. Oh, oh! Right, hello again everyone and a few apologies to make. One, the way the video cut off is not a vibe. Two, my appearance right now is also not a vibe. I really need to wash my hair but I haven't done that yet because I've been editing this video. So for now, we're going to accept this and we're going to move on from it and we're going to forget it. But basically, I've got a little story time for you guys. So grab the last little bits of your biscuits, your cup of tea that you used to watch this video with and let me tell you guys, yesterday we had the journey from how to get home and I'm not even exaggerating, it's probably one of the worst journeys to get back from London that I've ever had. We basically had any time day return tickets on the train so we could leave whenever we wanted to and we decided after doing a little bit of shopping that it was time to go home because we don't really need to do shopping in London. We just popped into a few places, picked up a few little bits, nothing major, like I've really got nothing to show you. Um, and then decided it was time to come home. So at about half past two, we picked up our cases, got on the tube, went to Euston because that's where we were travelling back from. And we waited there for about 40 minutes, only to find out that all of the Avanti West Coast service trains had been cancelled, literally every single one, because of wire disruptions on the line. Something like that anyway, I'm not too clued up on it. But they were all cancelled, which then meant that all of the other trains were also getting cancelled or delayed or full and they were basically telling us, well not just us but everybody over the announcement speaker things to come back tomorrow and our tickets would still be valid which for us was just not an option because we'd have to rebook a hotel which would be super expensive and we were just a bit frustrated and confused and lost so one option was for us to go back from Marylebone but the tickets were super expensive because obviously our tickets were from Euston so we'd have to repurchase tickets again. I was then told by the train line on an email that because my train had been cancelled I could refund the ticket so I thought great we'll get a little bit of money back not all of it because we obviously got there fine but we'll get a little bit of it back. So I then, was then looking at how the how did we get home because we didn't want to stay another night. We've got work to do at home and things that we need to get back for. So I ended up booking the last two tickets on a coach to get home, which then left at half past five. So we then got from, so we then went from Euston to Victoria Coach Station and waited about an hour there, I think, to get on this coach, which didn't take us directly home. Oh no, how I wish it did. It took four and a half hours because we had an hour change in Milton Keynes. May I add, this cost us £60. Six, zero. I know, I've literally got to London for £1.40 before and £1.40 back. I've never paid that amount for a single fare. So that actually breaks my heart, but it was important that we got back. Otherwise, we would literally be stuck. So that hour change in Milton Keynes was then great because I was waiting for the toilet until we got there because I didn't want to use it on the coach, only to find out that the inside section was shut. So we had to wait outside for an hour in the rain and in the cold, which again was just not a vibe. We eventually got back, our coaches were a little bit delayed, then we got an Uber home and all in all, 
considering we left at half past two to start coming back we got back just before 11 o'clock which is what eight and a half hours something crazy like that i just can't like it was literally gonna take us an hour and a half to get home on the train tops and eight and a half hours later we rocked up through the door like i'm fuming but at the same time we have to look at it in a way that many many people would have been stuck in london yesterday not able to get back to wherever they needed to get back to and we also got the last two tickets on the coach so it was kind of a bit of fate or a sign that we were able to get those last two tickets whatever it was it was so so lucky and I'm so grateful that we were able to get back eventually and also grateful that we can actually afford to pay that £60 to get back because some people can't. Hopefully, Trainline will reimburse my fares because at the minute it's saying refund amount is zero and that's not fun. But, you know, worst case scenario, it's fine. We've got back, we're fine. It was just a bit of a pain in the bum, to be honest, but yeah that's about it really that's my story time it was very stressful that's why the video cut off when it did and i didn't film anymore because i just wanted to get back and we were super tired super hungry and just cold and wet so i thought i'd fill you all in today instead but other than that that's really all of my updates nothing more exciting happened we came back and we went straight to bed that's it um so yeah thank you very much for watching this video i really hope you've enjoyed it i've really enjoyed editing it today it's actually one of my favorite videos i think i've ever uploaded so i'm really really happy with that if you enjoyed it please give it a like comment and subscribe down below it would really really mean the world and other than that i look forward to seeing you all very soon in my next video goodbye